22, Panini, 3-2 and two baseball, 5-box half case, number 4. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three left, four, five, six right. That's a one, so we're going to go one, two, three left. Right side will be used for half case number five, which, like I said, may be next. We shall see. I'm just going to go ahead and number them. So if we don't do it next, we know those are the boxes. Set those in the back here. Back there will be just fine. Chelsea. Wade Boggs, jumbo swatches for the Bow Sox. Spence. Uh, 10 out of 15 game used Wade Boggs jersey. Red Sox. Lone Star Signatures, Patch Autograph, Kurloff for the Minnesota Twins going out to Derek M. Number 3 out of 49, Kurloff, Patch Autograph, Minnesota Twins. Uh, I mean... It's really in all of what you want to do. So it, it, I, I will say it definitely makes it easier to do those sort of style of breaks once you've reached a certain custom, amount of customer base, right, obviously. Um, but I mean, really, it, it, it's just kind of what you built your, your customer base around. I've built my customer base around doing all these PYT breaks, so the majority of what we do is PYTs because people want to get in on PYTs versus, yeah, the, the you, you know, the random stuff. Like, we pretty much never do, you know, tiered randoms or divisions or whatever. And if I try to set one up now, I don't really have much of a customer base. I'm sure some of you guys would probably hop in on it. But Joe Ryan to 150 for the Twins. Yeah, so it's kind of – but I will say, like, it is much easier, especially, like, you know, if you look at Leighton's, they could do full case – random divisions where if we do full case random divisions you know it's probably going to be a little bit harder for me to fill that up unless i get you know all the right people in here at the same time kind of deal you know what i mean altuve to 99 for the astros and mayor for the bow Sox prospects to 99 But I see plenty of other, you know, smaller breakers, if you will, uh, that do random division stuff and tier teams and what have you. But they're kind of doing that like a lot and maybe don't do as much thicker teams. So I don't know. That's just my viewpoint or thought process on that question. All right, we got a full count swatches. Rizzo for the Yankees, five-piece jersey relic. Yankees going to George. Number to 25, Rizzo, eight out of 25. Full count swatches. 
Uh, we got Frank Ma's quad patch or quad jersey autograph. Quad patch. Casey Royale's emerald one out of five. The one spot going to Squints. Yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, it's really just kind of how you've built your break room. And what you do the most of is going to, you know, if I started to do a lot of that stuff, then some of these, some of you guys may not continue to break because you want to get in on pick your teams on certain teams and you want to be able to decide what team you get and maybe utilize the checklist in your advantage or what have you, you know. We got Ripkin to 150, Baltimore. Uh, Freeman to 32 for the Dodgers. Texas prospects black seven out of eight. Eric L with the Rangers. Yeah, I mean, if I'm being honest, I would, I would actually myself, I would prefer PYT stuff and pick what team. Um, I get in the break, but if I'm being honest, like I would prefer as a, you know, running the breaks to do random stuff because the PYT prices take forever to set up the PYTs. I have to figure out the prices, look at the checklist, figure out the prices, put, input all of the prices into Shopify onto the website. When random teams, you just figure out how much you want to get for the boxes and divide it by however many spots and you're off to the races. I mean... That's like super easy. I would much rather do that. To have to set up all the PYT prices, it's especially whenever there's like four new releases on the same day, it gets to be a little crazy and a bit draining and takes up a lot of time. So not only do I have to be live to sell this stuff, I have to take all this time to look at the checklist to figure out prices and everything. We got Matt Brash, Quad Relic Seattle, the Mariners, Serial. 21 out of 35, the one spot squint strikes again. Smoltz, legendary autograph. We've already hit it. I think this might be the second or third one that we hit. The Braves going out to Ricky, 2 out of 35. Oh, Wander, swag insert, ultra rare, swag insert, Wander Franco, rookie for the Rays. All right, we'll see what card number it is. Six, going out to Vanessa. Nice hit, Wander, swag insert. on them all right we got a hack Wilson Chicago nine out nine out of 25. And Brady House prospects for Washington, 24 out of 32, David C. Hey, she was right. Vanessa called it, too. She said, hey, that middle, that one box was flipped around like this. It was the only box that was like that. And ended up having the... Wander swag in it. Oh, see, that's just like that tops. Uh, what is it? Tops uh, Sterling red dot. You know, 
you got that flipped around box, something, something's going to be in there. Jimmy Fox for the Bozox Jumbo Swatches. Big old bat relic number to seven. Six out of seven. Red Sox. Spence. Bat relic Jimmy Fox. Nice. Lone Star Signatures. Trey Sweeney. Patch autograph for the Yankees. One out of seven. Both out of seven there. Wow. Four out of 50, Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers. Another low number. This is two out of three for the St. Louis Cardinals going out to New Yorker. Arenado, two out of three, base. And Yepes to 32 for the St. Louis Cardinals, rookie. One more box to go in this five box break. Lefty O'Doul, Jumbo Swatches. Look how old that looks. Uh, Philadelphia, Lefty O'Doul to 10, 4 out of 10. Double patch autograph, Gavin Sheets, rookie autograph, RPA for the White Sox, Keith. Gavin Sheets, double patch RPA, number to 25, 4 out of 25. All right, we got a Mookie Betts to 150 for the Dodgers. Paul Wainer for Pittsburgh, number to 99. And Alcantara for the Cubs to 32, 9 out of 32 prospects. Okay, that's why, yeah, you could probably notice, like, whenever we get those really old cards, you know, especially through these Panini products, this, NT, iMac, that kind of stuff, I know that some of those older teams are a little, especially like Milwaukee. Yeah, so I'm always kind of, like, hesitant to say, All right, this is 2022 three and two baseball five box half a case pick your team number four we got the other half of the case which is definitely a possibility for the next break we'll see what else we can get into but that one's definitely got a good shot don't forget to snag up your teams in chronicles baseball for tomorrow i just posted that uh those breaks at nine eastern so really it's only been you know, four hours or whatever ago. Uh, nine Easterns, whatever I posted them up. Comes out tomorrow, Chronicles Baseball. We only got a couple more hobby boxes available for Topps Update Series Baseball as well if you want a hobby, $89 for a hobby box. Check it out on the site. I may end up having some jumbos available, more jumbos available, but I'm not going to add anything or advertise anything or anything until my, uh, make sure all my cases and everything show up tomorrow when we're all good to go, but I may end up having a few more jumbos, but I believe that is it on the hobbies though, whatever's left on the site. Wander, 
Swag insert. Swag on them. Swag on them. Wander. Going out to the six. Vanessa. Three and two. Number four. 